is a kind of close to the concert uh, finish the concert with a piece called Yet to Be. Thank you.
Mm. How do you feel after a concert like this? <laughs> Tired. Tired. <laughs> Red? Yes. <laughs> Tired. <coughs> said before it was the last concert of a month tour, so because that was the finish line. We just made it over the finish line. So. And then back to New York for rest? Uh, or we you having a holiday? Yeah. We actually have some time off, uh, about two weeks. Uh, Ralph and Glenn will be going to Oregon, although they live in New York. Uh, that'll be our first uh, concert of the next tour. Uh, Colin goes to New York to do some finishing touches on the album and then go to his farm. And I'll be going back home to Atlanta. Mm. Could you give us a, a short history of uh, of the group? Uh, how did it come about? Uh, we all joined uh, a group called the Witter Consort. Mm. Played concerts together beginning in 1970, and Ralph started writing for that group. And we began playing in the motel room uh, at night after the, <laughs> after the concerts with the larger group, which included a cellist and a, a saxophone. And about six months into that association with Paul Winter, we were given a chance by some very, uh, generous people in California to make an album as a group. And so at that point we got together and, uh, made a, a record together, which was never released, but it gave us the opportunity to, uh, solidify and get a repertoire together and really become a band. So it came about as a result of that. It was another two years before we made our first record for Vanguard. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've been a working band now for three years and uh, we've been together for, for five years. Uh, from what I've read, uh, you're giving the critics a hard time trying to categorize you. Uh, it must be a little fun for you to play music that's uh, a little bit different and everybody's scratching their heads and saying, is this contemporary music? Is it jazz? What is it? How do you feel about it? Well, I guess you could say it is fun. It's, uh, uh, we're just playing what, what feels right, you know, and uh, I guess jazz is the closest thing, but then nobody quite knows what to call it. So, uh, I don't know, we enjoy the music. I mean, whether we don't want to make problems for people. You know. no. <laughs> yeah, why do you play the way you do, Raph? <laughs> well, what do you mean, what, the way I do? Yeah. Well, why, why does Oregon play the way it, it does? Well, um, I think we've all, all played in a certain way. We have different backgrounds, but we, we all have a way of playing. And when we met, we just played. We started immediately playing this way together. It's the way everyone's experience fits together. and and. We had to sacrifice quite a few styles and things that we may have played from some other uh, thing like Brazilian or jazz or something in you know, Collins. Indian music <laughs> is really uh, sacrificed in a sense. I mean, there's a lot of, of uh, styles that we had to eliminate in order to make a kind of music that, that uh, was comfortable for everyone. Mm. And uh, that's really the... Our instruments, too, are very... Uh, uh, I mean, they they work together very well, homogenous, I guess, and uh, and from then on, we've just tried to find the most comfortable medium ground for each player mm -hmm. in order to make a music that's the singular and not. I mean, we don't consciously borrow from uh, other styles of music, you know, like we're not imitating really. Mm -hmm. It seems you have a great amount of freedom within the group. Each member has a great amount of freedom when you're playing. Uh, does it go for concerts as well as rehearsals? As well as rehearsals? Yeah. We d we uh, don't I mean, do you, do, you have a, do you have a strong feeling of freedom when you're performing a concert like this? Or is it uh, uh, more, more, more strictly to sort of a scheme? Uh, it's <coughs> there's freedom uh, um, within the structure. I think we, we improvise structures or improvise forms, that's what we do. It's not just indulgence, I don't think. I mean, we have freedom to... Uh, improvise forms, I think that's the difference in our free playing. And we're not avoiding form as much as, as like I said, improvising. It. But it, it's a feeling of freedom, all right. Mm. Uh, to me, this concert was uh, almost sort of a spiritual experience. I mean, I felt it very strongly that uh, uh, the whole setup seems so very peaceful and, uh, well, relaxed. Uh, is it any ideology behind the music, the way you think? 
the, you're playing a kill stick, has it got something to do with that? It may. I mean, there's no direct ideological, spiritual ba basis <coughs> no message to what to any of us are doing. Put it across. We just play the music, and I guess having acoustic instruments and coming from where we do, the net result is something that uh, can be experienced as a very spiritual experience. I mean, music is a spiritual experience, man. Mm. Uh, do you find any different reactions playing to different audiences? This is Norway, you've played in several countries. Are people reacting the same way, or do you find differences? Well, uh, I hate to say it's the same, but it's pretty closely similar. People come and listen quite intently, ordinarily, and uh, like the music. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. in that way. There's a similar reaction. There are there are little differences, as there are little differences in us, um, what we're thinking, what we're doing, mm -hmm. when we're in a different country. But the audiences all over Europe have been very nice. We've played for for full houses uh, in all the places that we've played, and the response has been very good. They mm -hmm. clap in time. After <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, it is an international language you're speaking then? I think so, I think so. Uh, Raf, you've uh, done a lot of things uh, uh, aside from Oregon. You're a solo artist on ECM. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe Colin made an album on ECM mm -hmm. too. How do you find this uh, uh, changing from being a group member than uh, getting out on your own? Well, um, I think it, enri in it, it enriches the group. Uh, if any single member does something uh, on their own, you know, and, and expresses himself in, in other ways too, because when they come back to the group, I think they have a lot more strength and a lot more things that they're bringing back in. It's not a matter of a, a, a nationalistic or national <laughs> fervor that we stay together and no one looks at another band or something like that. You know, how I many we benefit by that? I think. Okay, I think that's. Uh about it? Anything else you want to talk about? Thank that you. Okay. <laughs>